Okay. How you doing, Nikki? Hi, I'm great. How are you? I'm great. I got to tell you, I watched Agent Recon last week and um, actually week before that. And I spoke, I already spoke with Derek. I already spoke with Mark. And I got to tell you, I really enjoyed this one. So I was a fan of Derek's previous films. So to see this one more straightforward, I was just like excited about it. Oh my God, I love that. Oh my God, you got to see it before me. I see it this week. I'm so excited. Yeah, I think you're. I think you're gonna be excited. It, I, the whole movie came out really good. So my first question is, um, how'd you get to meet Derek and, and get the role of uh, the captain here? Yeah. Um, well, first of all, if you really enjoyed the movie so much, make sure to leave a review on Amazon for sure. Oh yeah. Uh, <laughs> um. Uh. Let's see. I got. I got involved. Um. I feel like. It was like a beautiful mixture of manifesting because I want to be in the agent or like the um in the action world a lot more. So it was it was the manifesting and then uh, the amazing casting director, Mark Tillman. He was incredible in being able to um to see me as this character. And um, gosh, I mean, I I owe so much to him to for being able to see me outside of like you know, any typecasting that I might have, like he allowed me to really explore something different and um, something I've wanted to explore. And also um, Derek for, to, for trusting him and saying yes. That's awesome. What was it like working with Derek? Derek just had high praise for everyone that he worked with. So I'd love Derek. to hear what he thought of you, or what you think of him, I should say. Oh, Derek is great. I mean, he's such a visionary. He's such a like, multi-talented dude like good for him like he he works his butt off like I can tell you know and he I you know you got to respect somebody who takes an idea runs with it to the finish line yeah like that's not what usually happens like these ideas like usually get stuck and uh, he's not gonna let that happen like it's really incredible um he has so much passion for the film and so much passion for what he does and uh you know even having getting to meet his family on set because he brings his family he's like this is my world right and he doesn't i thought it was really awesome that he doesn't keep it super separate like a lot of people like to have multiple lives type of thing like he was like no like this is i am living my truth i'm living my creations and my family is living it with me like i just thought that that was like oh so respectable um so yeah i mean he and he's an incredible guy and he has a lot of faith in a lot of people and he wants the people who are best for the job to be a part of the project not for it to have any you know any other twisted underlying reason um and so i i really respect that so i i really enjoy derek and i hope that we get to work together more yeah what's great is he was telling me um his last film, Agent Revelation, he's he did feel he put too much into that. So now he wanted to make this more straightforward. And mm -hmm. I, you know, I thought this that's what really worked well. But on the other hand, and also you got to have your dad played by one of the all time greatest, Mark Singer, who I actually talked to on Friday. Such a delightful guy. I mean, he was one of my childhood heroes growing up. I used to watch him on everything. So really? So I was like, the fanboy me totally came out when I got to interview him. And he he had such high praise for everyone as well. So him playing your father, what was that like? Yeah, I mean, I, he was an amazing guy, like just on and off the screen. So that was actually one of the most beautiful things. Um, you know, you, you had a, a correct hero. You know, you had some you had a hero that really is an amazing person in your in your life, um, in real life. So that's that was something I got to experience. Um, and just, we had some really nice, beautiful conversations. Um, he's so, he's such a, he's just a great person. Um, and he really wants to make sure that, you know, we're all prepared when we show up and, um, that we, we get to talk about how we feel and really open up. So that allowed us to also get, um, a relationship going and, uh, yeah, he's just, he's so many incredible, integral, beautiful people on this project, honestly. Yeah, I was mentioning, I mentioned to Mark that, you know, the fact that you're his daughter in the film and that you're kidnapped. So, of course, 
there's that little twist in the story where he has to rescue you, even though they have to search for this little energy thing that's going on. But I like the fact that eventually he makes Derek's character his adopted in a way, like he treats him as a son because it was like the son he always wanted. I thought that dynamic was quite fascinating in this film. Yeah. I mean, he has that Mark Singer has that capacity, you know, he really does. He has that, he has a big heart on and off screen. Right. Mm -hmm. Uh, So he definitely has this beautiful family, uh, family vibe to him. And so I got to ask this one next. What was it like being on set with one of the all time legends in Chuck Norris? Like, Do you understand that I grew up watching Walker, Texas Ranger, like my Bible? Like, I mean, it was my <laughs> every, I'm not kidding. This is hilarious because every Saturday was like, I looked forward to every Saturday because that was Walker, Walker, Texas Ranger night. Like I was so excited to watch him some kick some ass, you know? Yeah. And like, that was my dad and I's like favorite show that we would watch together. So, t- so it was really interesting when it dawned on me that I had this dream to like, I mean, who I would have never thought I have a dream. I'm going to work with Chuck Norris one day. Right. Yeah. But to be the same project, it like all of a sudden dawned on me, like, I think I just created a childhood dream that I never knew that I had or could, you know, could actually come to fruition. And so just that has been so crazy. I mean, we just had Father's Day and my dad and I were talking. I'm like, dad, do you understand that like the man we looked up to kicking butt every day is like, he's like one degree away from me. This is not the seven degrees of Kevin Bacon anymore. Like he's one degree <laughs> away. I was like, do you understand what that is? And he's like, it's so cool. So it was, yeah. So just having that be part of my life story now, like that's so cool. Yeah. He was part of my integral childhood too. Cause all I would watch when I was a kid was those old martial arts flicks and a bunch of them had Chuck in it. Like, Force yeah. Vengeance, Eye for an Eye. Even I can go far as back as his first one, Breaker Breaker. And of course, the one he did with Bruce Lee. Because my my dad, sadly, my dad passed away last month. But one of the movies he got me into was um Way of the Dragon, Bruce Lee versus Chuck Norris. So there was like the two childhood idols right there. Oh and he God. got me completely hooked on that movie. So I followed Chuck ever since then. And I heard that this was his comeback film and he actually got to fight in it. I was jumping for joy and I was like sitting in my seat and seeing his one fight scene. I was just like, I was jumping out of my chair, but like going crazy. I was like, that's probably what it was like for you watching Walker, Texas Ranger, always watching him. And then now being there on the set with him doing yeah. that. Incredible. Absolutely incredible. Yeah. No, I mean, I, even just as you're talking, you should see my legs right now. They're goosebumps everywhere. Cause I'm just like, yes, I know it's so cool. <laughs> I know it's super exciting. I mean, we, we have, we have some real star power um, and not just like star power, like, you know, like the names, but just like, like powerful people, like they're so cool um, and just so badass in, in real life, not just for their like, you know, kick-ass moves, but like in real life, like they're legitimate people, like integral people. So yeah. that also make, uh, holds the strength value in all of this as well. Yeah. And I, and I like the fact that you mentioned you were against typecast playing this role. And I'm glad because I like when actors like try out different roles. So I thought this was fantastic that you got to pull this off as a Marine captain. And despite being the fact that you were kidnapped through most of it, but that's besides the point. <laughs> <But>. <laughs> I am now hoping to see you again in an action, another action movie down that road. Oh, uh, well, now, great. now you might get that chance to finally kick some butt like you deserve, I think. Oh, hell yeah, man. Just keep putting that out there for me. Manifestation's a real thing. <laughs> there you go. So what is next for you after Agent Recon or any new projects in the works that you can talk about? Um, I can say that I have a new project in the works, um, but I don't know how far I can go into it. But um it is this one is going to be uh, a sci-fi actually so it'll be really cool oh that's going to be awesome i'm definitely going to check that one out <laughs> yeah everyone check out agent recon this friday on demand and digital you got yes, an amazing 21st. 
you got an amazing cast. Derek Ting, Mark Singer, Chuck Norris, Nikki here. And I cannot wait to see more of her on screen. And Nikki, thank you so much again for taking the time to talk about it. Oh my gosh, thank you so much. I appreciate your time as well. Glad you right. enjoyed it already. June 21st, everyone. <laughs> All right, everyone take care. Y'all have a good day. Have a great one. Bye. Bye.